students, today's agenda is to turn in packets. You will be working on basic constructions and you will be able to complete 10.1. Today, students will be able to construct congruent segments and congruent angles. And so for this lesson, you will be needing a compass and a straight edge. Okay, and this one has measurements, but we will not be using those. It's just going to be the edge that we'll be using. And so, in here, we have line segment AB, and it says, draw a segment that is congruent to AB. Congruent means exactly the same measurement. And so, the first step that you will do is to draw a very light line, and it has to be a little bit longer than AB. And it's very simple to draw a congruent line, a congruent segment, because all you have to do is basically measure how, like put one point in here in point A and the point of the pencil on point B, and that tells me how big that line is. So all I, I do is this becomes the end point A, mark it, and so that will be the intersection will be point B. And so that we know that this is the original and this is the copy, we can just call it A prime and B prime. Okay, so my line congruent to AB will be from here to here. Okay, these are exactly the same measurement, they are congruent. Now, for the second one, it says draw a segment that is twice line segment AB. So now, what we're going to do to make it twice as big, again, we're going to draw a line. We're going to measure the segment AB. And again, this becomes the end point. And we do it once. Whoops, make sure that you try not to move it. So once and then twice. Okay, and now we have a segment that is twice AB. Okay, and it's from here to here. So we get a straight edge and create this line. So when I went, when you're showing me that you're following these steps, I want to see that, those markings. Okay. That's what I'm going to be looking for. Um, when you are demonstrating that you got this skill. Okay. So very simple congruent. All you have to do is copy it. If it says twice as much, all you have to do is mark it once. From there, mark it twice, and then that's your your new segment. And so we say that from here to here, it's twice AB. Okay. Now, let's do this one. We have angle PQR, and it says draw an angle congruent to angle PQR. Congruent means having the same measurement. So these are the steps that you're gonna follow. Step number one is to draw a line segment or ray, it doesn't matter. And this becomes the end point. Okay, so this is the tricky part, and so you want to make sure that you follow. So step number one, draw a ray. Step number two, draw an arc. And it doesn't matter how open your compass is as long as it touches both of the rays. You're going to draw an arc. Okay, touching both both rays and the same for this side 
it's a little hard because I only have one paper uh, if you want so that it goes a little deeper you can put more papers underneath but you're gonna do the same arc the same measurement don't close it or or open it more it should be the same measurement the third step okay first step draw a line second step arc arc the third step which is uh, what a lot of people get confused about is to measure the arc okay look at the third step and you can put it in your own words to remember measure the arc on the original picture and that measurement tells me how open this arc should be so it's right there see the same measurement and what goes through that measurement through that point where I'm touching well it's the other ray so that means that the other rays should be in here as well okay so basically this intersection of the two arcs the bigger arc and the small arc becomes the point where the other ray will go through it's not point P but it's just this point right here that was created okay and so now I'm ready to trace a ray through here through that point and well now we can see that they look congruent not how long this is but how open it is okay okay let me see I think I I would like to write some guidelines basically so the first thing that you have to do is to draw a line Then after that, you draw arcs on the original and on top of the line that we had. Draw arcs. Okay, you can put on the angle and touching the line. If you want more details, you can put it in there for your own. And the third step is to measure the arc. And remember, to measure the arc, is, it means to see how open or wide this arc is. And that way you can um, draw an arc on the other arc. And from there, you just draw the line, the other ray. Okay, and you have your congruent angle. Okay, what if what they're asking you is to draw an angle that is twice the measurement of angle PQR? So, what you're going to do is very similar steps. The only thing is that, okay, so let's do step by step. Draw a line. Okay, that's my line right there. Then draw arcs. Okay, I'm going to draw an arc. Um, I'm going to use the same measurement in here so since I already have the marking in here. So draw an arc on the original. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. But this time, my arc is going to be bigger. And I'm trying to keep it so that hopefully it didn't move. Um, again, if you put more papers underneath, it's going to be easier. And then it says measure the arc. That's the third step. Measure the arc. So I'm going to open it like this. There you go, measure the arc. And it says draw an arc on the other arc. But in here, I am going to draw it, but I have to do it twice. And guess what, I didn't do it big enough. Okay. I'll start from the beginning so that you can really see 
all the steps together because I don't want you to get confused. So the first step is to <laughs> draw a line. Okay. The second step is to draw arcs in here in the original and the copy. So let's pretend that it's not here and okay so there is my my arc and I'm gonna draw it in here as well this time I'm gonna make sure that I draw it a little bit longer okay and the third step is measure the arc so again open it to where the mission of the arc is like that and since it's twice that much you're gonna do the marking once and then twice okay once and then twice and so this intersection becomes From here to that intersection becomes the other ray. Okay, so we draw the ray. And so, again, this is congruent to PQR. This is twice the measurement of PQR. Okay, so now you're able to do 10.1 and have fun.